Four years ago, we adopted Jasmine, a retired racing greyhound. At first, she was shy and a little aloof, but within weeks, she grew more social. She became a snuggle pup. And more importantly, she became a part of our family. Well, last week, we had to say goodbye to her. Collectively, we grieved. But here's the thing, she left her messy paw print on our hearts and changed our world forever. So I wanna share a few things that she taught me. Play every day. Every time it snowed, Jasmine would go nuts. And every day, she would take five to 10 minutes to run around doing zoomies. It was a reminder for me that play matters. Even if time is limited, make a small amount of time for play every single day. Although Jasmine wasn't particularly creative, research has shown that play often leads to creativity. There's this ongoing cycle where play leads to curiosity and that leads to experimentation and that experimentation leads to creativity, which can then make us more playful and the cycle continues. But we also need rest. Greyhounds rest all the time. So many of my pictures of Jazzy involve her sleeping. She was excellent at resting. Sometimes when I was working, I would look over at Jasmine and I'd see her resting and I would think that's exactly what I need right now. It was a reminder to press pause. See what I did there? But it turns out that rest is vital for learning and creativity. Thomas Opong describes it this way. According to the research, the brain gradually stops registering a sight, sound, or feeling if that stimulus remains constant over time. You lose your focus and your performance on the task declines. When faced with a long creative problem, it is best to impose brief breaks on yourself. Brief mental breaks will actually help you stay focused on your task and improve your idea generation approach. A structured downtime can help you do your best work. In other words, when we rest, our mind is busy making synaptic connections. I love the way Anne Lamott puts it. Almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. Jasmine also taught me to be curious. She loved to stop and smell the smells and look at all of the sights. It was a reminder to get lost in the rabbit trails and embrace wonder. My mentor Brad once told me this, we must seize the moment of excited curiosity for the acquisition of wisdom. I memorized that line. Jasmine lived it. And finally, love people, even if you're an introvert. Jasmine was unabashedly introverted. But when Jasmine was one-on-one -on -one with people, she made them feel special. And that's a hidden gift of introverts. If anyone in our family was having a hard day, Jasmine would walk over and put her head on their lap or cuddle up next to them. It was a reminder that empathy is more about actions than words. Sometimes what people need is for you to sit down next to them in silence with no judgment and then simply be present. Ultimately, she reminded me that every day is a gift and I might as well choose to have a great day. So I'd love for you to share in the comments what lessons you've learned from your dogs and cats. And if you enjoy this video, would you be willing to subscribe to this channel and click the little like button? That would mean a lot.